One of the most fascinating things about chess is the geometry of the pieces. In this position, white's down a queen, but he can still win. The first move is pawn b3 check. Now the king cannot step anywhere in the third rank because now we have pawn e4 check, a double attack setting up an ambush. King takes e4, knight f6, and white wins. So black goes king c5, but now the king and the queen are lined up. So white plays rook h5. Black's not lost yet. He plays e5 and thinks he's safe. But notice something about the position. The king has no moves, and then the pawn also has no moves. White has a winning move here. Can you see it? It's incredible. The move is knight g5. And you might be thinking, how is this winning? Well, the trick is black is in six one. Wherever he moves, he loses the queen. The queen goes here. We have a knight check, forcing the king to go to d5. Then we have another check. What about queen g2? Well, this time we check here. King has to go here and win the queen again. There is no escape because the knight's power is exponentially increased when there are checks. And that is the foundation of all chess tactics. Queen goes here, fork. Queen goes here, also fork. And what about queen here? This one's nice. Check and knight c3 check. Finally, if pawn e4, white goes knight e4, and he wins.